Stop your grinning and drop your linen. I'm back. And what's my excuse this time for delays in posting? I moved house. And that is a perfect excuse because, yes, it was stressful. But who cares about that? Let's carry on from where we left off, which was talking about the 22-ounce big sub heavyweight denim jacket. And now we're on to the 22-ounce heavyweight big slub raw selvage denim jeans, which are straight cut. There's a little bit more detail underneath here, which is quite interesting. 100% cotton, rope-dyed, samphorized denim, which won't shrink. Boo! Won't shrink. I prefer unsamphorized. But hey, you know, you've got to compromise sometimes. Hidden back pocket rivets, pull-up leather patch. I don't know what pull-up leather patch means. I, I, a leather patch, thick pocket bags, chain stitched hems, blue selvage ID. Right, so caveat, the unbranded brand, minimal, low key. Owned by Naked and Famous, that's all I'm going to say. Now, a quick point on leather patches because there are nice leather patches out there. And as you can see, this one's unbranded because that is part of the brand's brand of branding, of not being branded. Some leather patches are stitched just at the top and the bottom with nothing here. And that means when you wear a belt, which I always do with heavyweight denim because you need it to hold the, hold the pants up or jeans. If you have this, your belt's going over it. So you, you never really see this patch. And although I like patches, you know, you never really lift your shirt up. No one's ever gonna see your patch anyway. And then even if they do, most of the time you've got a belt over it. And, and in fact, I would also say, uh, stylistically, I, I, I can't wear anything. Uh, generally, without a belt. I mean, maybe tracksuit bottoms, but I rarely wear those outside. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the detail together, and then I'll discuss some other elements behind it as well. So the detail, I find the brown stitching, for some reason, reminds me of the 70s, a quite old school colour, but not, you know, that's not a, a negative. And uh, let's have a look at the rivets here, which again, I, you know, I like because they are minimal. There's a rivet there. I'm going to zoom out because this is a bit close. And here. And then we've got these big old buttons, which, you know, obviously reflect the denim jacket as well. And here's the other side. Quite, you know, really understated. Here's the back pocket, for example. Again, very little on there. Some jeans stitch along here. Or, or put a big white stripe of some sort. And holding the denim, you know, what does big slub mean? Well, it means it the, the piece of denim can have varying thicknesses, and that is dictated by, I think, the tension by which the loom is run at. So you can produce one piece of denim, say for jeans, and, and the thickness will vary across those jeans themselves. Straight leg, got to speak about the fit. Um, I really like the fit. Uh, perfect fit for me, not too wide, not too thin. You know, skinny, I think it's gone out. I think it's had its time for now. And these seem a good compromise between skinny and too wide, which as I mentioned with Red Tornado, it is bonkers wide. Uh, it, I look quite comical. Some people have said, God almighty, what are you wearing? I mean, that's how weirdly wide the straight le leg is on those. These are, I'm pleased with the, the way they fit. I do generally speak to the positives and less on negatives, but, you know, it's difficult because I, I like the fit. I like the finish. I like the colouring. I mean, there's not, not much I don't really like about these jeans. And if we get to the pricing... I think they're quite well priced. I bought them, as I mentioned, last year in the Black Friday sale. So I got them for 132. They retail usually for 165. And they're currently on sale at the Jeans Store. And I've only mentioned jeansstore.co.uk because they're good guys. And that's where I got my jeans from. And they're currently £139. And they seem to have all the sizes in. So if you fancy trying out these jeans, which I don't see why you shouldn't, go for it. And... That is it, really. I, I like it. I've not worn it because I wanted to review it as new for you guys. And gosh, when will I review it? I said I had three pairs of jeans last time, which was incorrect. I have four. So I have a pair of Red Tornado. I have a pair of Ironheart. I have a pair of um, Strike Gold and a pair of these. So I've got four pairs and I'm running two right now. I'm running the Strike Gold, which 
tell me if you'd want to see this. So say by all means in the comments, the wear on those is becoming quite pronounced. Would you like to see an update video? I last did a wear update on those uh, a, a year in. We're about, I'd say, 16 months in, and they're going to get their first soak in August of this year. So if you'd like to see the progress on that, do let me know. Happy to oblige. Also, any questions? I mean, I've seen some questions coming in, which are great. And those people I haven't responded to yet on the other videos. Sorry about that. I will try to do so in the next 24 hours. And again, any other questions like what you'd like to have seen, let me know. But do like and subscribe because that's helpful. And we will review something a little bit later, um, not denim per se, and definitely not jeans next, but something I thought might be interesting. And again, you can let me know. So like and subscribe. Uh, hopefully we're out of blooming winter. I'm getting fed up with the cold here in Britain. And we'll speak again.